idiot of the day award as uh, I forgot to empty my storage and this was the last find I had. It was 1946 and as you just saw it was a Philadelphia. Um, sorry for that. I forgot to empty the storage out last night after doing my epic penny hunt which is on my previous video. Definitely check it out. I did finish that roll and I also found one other one. I charged my phone a little bit while I was uh, doing this and also finished off the roll. I found a really nice 61 in great shape. Um, thought I'd hold on to that as well. So, we'll be back with the next find. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 15. Uh, I just pulled this one here out. It's a real crusty looking older nickel. I might try cleaning it. I'll show it to you real quickly. I could not get a date under the scope. There seems to be some really bad reflection here, but I can't see a date on it. I'm going to try cleaning it later, and I'll let you know if I get a date off of that. This one here is another 40s nickel. 1941. Let's see if we got a mint mark. Nineteen forty one S. Alright, another S mint mark. <clears throat> oh, and something I wanted to mention real quickly is uh not sure if you guys have seen these here. These are the hearts that my daughter has been leaving all over my laptop. She is such a sweet kid. Back with the next find. Okay, everybody still on roll fifteen, and we have another forties nickel. Let's take a look. It's a 1948. I've already found two S mint marks. Could this be a 1948 S? And it is not. It's a Philadelphia. All right, on to the next. Okay, everyone, we're on roll 17, and we got ourselves another 1940s nickel. Sorry. Here we go. Let's take a look. 1946, and do we have a mint mark? No mint mark. 1946 Philadelphia. On to the next. Okay, everyone, still on roll 17, and we have a really nice 1950s nickel here. Look at that. That is just absolutely stunning. It is a 1954. And I'm not going to lie to you, I did peek at the back. I had to because this corn is just so beautiful. I'll show you here in just a second. Look at the details on this. I mean, I even see some steps there. That is just awesome. It is my third S Nick mint mark of the box so far. That is awesome. On to the next. Okay, everyone, we're on roll 18, and we have our ninth 1940s nickel of the box. Got a 1948. Do we have a mint mark? We do not. 1948 Philadelphia. Back with the next. Okay, everyone, still on roll 18, and we have our first pre-40s nickel of the box. 1939. Can we get a mint mark? 1939 Philadelphia, we'll take it, back with the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 23, and just got another 40s nickel. Let's take a look. 1947, and do we have a mint mark? 1947 Philadelphia, on to the next. Okay, everybody, on roll 26, and we have another 1955. Take a look at this. Now, are we going to have a mint mark or not? Let's see. Fifty-five Denver. All right, we'll take it. On to the next. Okay, everyone, roll twenty-seven, and I got a fifty-nine, but this one is in really nice condition. Take a look at that. Not much wear on that at all. And let's see if we got a mint mark. Let's take a look. Fifty-nine Denver. All right, in great condition. See if I can see any steps on there. Nah, not really, but that's fine. Looks good to me. Back with the next. Okay, guys, still on roll 28, and we have another 1940 nickel. Fairly good uh, shape, too, I would say. Let's take a look for a mint mark. 1940 Philadelphia. All right, on with the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 34, and I just got another early 40s nickel. Let's take a look. 1941, and do we have a mint mark? 1941 Philadelphia. Uh, just so you know, that is now our 12th 1940s nickel, and we have 2250s, 109, and 139. 
And the other ones here off to the side of the ones on these two. I'm going to try to see and clean if I can get a date. That one I can't see anything. This one here is either a 39 or a 79. So I want to take a good look at that. And these are just some more AU X, uh, EF40s nickels that I want to hold on to. Be back with the next find. Okay, everyone. Uh, roll 36. Just got my first Canadian nickel. Kind of happy about that. I believe it's one I already have in the collection. I haven't looked. I'll look later and let you guys know. 1988. All right. On to the next. Okay, everyone. So on roll 36, and we have another 1940s nickel. Let's take a look. 1948. Do we have a mint mark? 1948, San Francisco. All right. I think that's like four of them I got so far. All right. On to the next. Okay, everyone, we're on roll 38, and this could be something nice. Let's take a look. 1939, let's see if we got a mint mark. No mint mark, but there's 239 so far. Let's see if we can get a 38 as well. On to the next. Okay, everyone, on roll 40, we have another 1940s nickel. Let's take a look. It is heavily worn. Look at that. Let's take a look at the date, 1946. Do we have a mint mark? 1946, Philadelphia. Okay, if there's nothing else in this roll here, I am going to have a part three to this video uh, and finish up the box uh, and do the wrap-up as my phone is getting low again on juice. So, let's see if there's anything left in here. If not, I'll see you in part three.